Welcome to the Peaceful Wellness Podcast with me, your host, Deb Phelps. If you are ready to unite with your true nature and find the calm you need to go through this journey called life, then walk a while with me as we learn to be resilient with mind, body, spirit modalities. I am a meditation teacher, mindfulness coach, sound healer, yoga specialist, and these and other modalities have helped me to truly find peaceful wellness within. So let's take a mindful approach together now. Hello, dear listeners, and welcome to our continued theme here of Empowered Serenity. Today, we explore the vast terrains of our mind through visualization. So today on the show, I'll be sharing a personal story, an activity, and journaling prompt, and closing with a guided meditation as usual. So be sure to get this week's workbook to go along with this episode at debphelps.com slash Facebook group. In life's tumultuous journey, often we seek refuge, a sanctuary, both real and imagined. And I recall a time when my personal challenges felt insurmountable. And what was my solace? It was a landscape within my mind. I conjured a tranquil forest, replete with the sweetest melodies of birds, the delicate rustle of leaves, and sun rays that kissed my soul, reinvigorating me. And today, we endeavor to create such refuges for each of you. So visualization is not just about seeing an image in our minds. It's a transformative tool, a bridge connecting our deepest desires fears, and aspirations to the reality we experience daily. Have you ever wondered why athletes often close their eyes before a big race or game? They're visualizing, seeing themselves succeed, feeling that victory in every fiber of their being. And this mental rehearsal primes their body and mind for the real event. Now, visualization isn't limited to athletes or performers. In our daily lives, it can help in many ways. When facing challenges, visualizing a positive outcome can create a roadmap for our action. Now, let's break this down. First, visualization aids in focus. By mentally simulating a scenario, we naturally prioritize what's essential and filter out distractions. And this clear focus is invaluable in making choices that align with our goals. Next, it boosts confidence. When you visualize success, you've already experienced it once in your mind. This can subdue anxiety and foster a mindset that says, I've done this before, And I can do it again. But there's more to this. Visualization helps in emotional regulation. Imagine you're about to face a challenging conversation. By visualizing the interaction and your reactions, you can prepare emotionally, ensuring you respond and not react. Visualization can manifest goals into reality. Now, I don't mean this in a magical sense. When you consistently visualize a goal, your actions subconsciously align to make that vision come true. And lastly, let's not forget its therapeutic aspect. Now, visualization can serve as a sanctuary, like I talked about before, uh, for myself, a place where we retreat. We find calmness, we heal, and we emerge stronger. So the next time you're facing a hurdle or simply need a moment of peace, close your eyes, see it, feel it, believe in it. The power of visualization is yours, the harness. In our own journeys, visualization has been a cornerstone. By envisioning a path of serenity and strength, we not only dream of a better tomorrow, but also lay the groundwork for it. Now, today's activity goes along with our meditation too. So it's 
one long meditative process you could say for today. While the world whirls in its chaos outside, there exists within each of us a potential space of serenity. So this just isn't any space, it's tailored to your desires, your memories, your dreams. So today let's journey into crafting that sanctuary. To start, remember that your serene space is a refuge. It's the place you retreat to when you need a break, a moment of quiet, a respite from the storm. Visualizing this space is essentially giving yourself permission, permission to take a break and be with yourself. Let's craft your serene space, a personal sanctuary within. So when you begin to craft this space, think about the sensory elements. What sounds are present? Maybe it's the lull of ocean waves, the chirp of crickets in the evening, or the soft strumming of a guitar. Sound is therapeutic, and it sets the tone of your space. Next, envision the sights. Is your serene space a sunlit meadow, a quiet library filled with books, or perhaps a cozy cabin overlooking a peaceful lake? Your choice reflects your innermost yearnings for peace. is grounding. Whether it's the texture of the grass underfoot, the feel of a warm mug in your hands, or the gentle embrace of a comforting blanket, it connects you to the reality of your visualization. the scents? What scents are present in your sanctuary? The aroma of fresh rain, the scent of blooming flowers, or comforting fragrance from your childhood. Scents have the power to transport us, to anchor us in a moment. Lastly, think about emotions and presence. How do you feel in this space? Safe? Relieved? Loved? It's the emotional atmosphere you create that truly makes it serene. And take your time with this. Build this sanctuary brick by metaphorical brick. And remember, it's always there for you. It's just a breath away. And by consistently visiting and nurturing this visualization, you're not only giving yourself moments of calm, but also fortifying your mind's ability 
to combat stress and anxiety. And this serene space becomes both your shield and your comfort. I'll share with you, not only do I use a visualization for myself, even my husband does as well. His is at an ocean front at a beach with sand, and he's built his little hut on the beach. And he likes to go there to meet with his spirit guide. So we all can utilize this tool for ourselves. So when you're ready, you can open your eyes and capture the sanctuary with words. In your journal or the workbook, weave a tapestry of your mind's sanctuary. Or there are whispers of past memories, which symbols stood out as emblems of your strength and serenity. Let's move into a guided meditation now. Begin by settling into a comfortable position, letting your hands rest gently and closing your eyes. Take a deep breath in and slowly exhale. With every breath, let the weight of the external world fall away. Envision a protective shimmering bubble of light around you. This light will guide you safely into the depths of your serene sanctuary. At the entrance of your serene space, you see a pathway winding and inviting. Feel the softness underfoot as you take your first step. The surroundings become more vivid, colors more radiant and sounds more harmonious.
With every step, you can feel the pulse of the earth. The world around you reacts. Maybe flowers bloom or gentle winds whisper messages of encouragement. Moving deeper, you come across a tranquil body of water reflecting the sky. The water is clear, mirroring your deepest self. As you gaze into it, feel the calmness. Recognize your inner strength that has weathered many storms. Further ahead, a gentle meadow awaits. Here, the symbols of strength you visualized earlier stand tall and proud. Maybe it's a resilient oak tree, its roots deep and branches wide, or that majestic lion, its eyes carrying stories of courage and endurance. Sit amidst this meadow, feeling the energies. The sun above showers you with golden light, filling you with warmth and resilience. Each ray is a reminder of the challenges you've overcome and the strength you've harnessed from them. Now let a gentle breeze carry away any remnants of doubt or fear. Breathe in the renewed strength and the peace from your surroundings. As you rest, let this landscape infuse its essence into you. Every element, every symbol reinforces your inner power and serenity.
Slowly begin to trace your steps back to the entrance, carrying with you all the emotions, the calmness, and resilience. Feel your awareness returning to the present But this serene sanctuary remains a part of you, ready to be revisited whenever needed. As you become more aware of your surrounding, take a deep breath in and out. And when you're ready, open your eyes. Remember this space is your creation, a testament to your inherent strength and serenity. And remember, friends, each one of us possesses an uncharted territory within, filled with landscapes of profound serenity and fortitude. Through visualization, we unlock these terrains. And as we wrap up today's session, remember your sanctuary is always a thought away, a realm where serenity meets strength. If you would like to explore this a little more, I offer you a 20-minute free exploration call where we can do so together and see where our journey leads us to helping you view those obstacles not as barriers, but as opportunities for growth and learning. Go to my website at debphelps.com slash coaching. And I have a special sanctuary crafted for you. It's our online studio, as well as my in-person studio. And in the online space, I have a team of wonderful teachers offering an array of sessions tailored for your every need, meditation, yoga, and other transformative experiences. So if you're seeking a little more serenity in a sanctuary, this is just for you. And you can go to peacefulwellnessonline.com to learn more. Finally, join me for our live circles on Zoom every first and third Friday of the month at 12 noon Central Time. And these gatherings offer a unique chance to delve deeper into the meditations from our podcast and engage in enriching discussions about the recent topics and the journaling prompts. It's a wonderful space for connection and reflection. And I hope to see you there. My friends, continue nurturing the serene space within, and we'll meet again next time for another enlightening journey. Take care. I wish you peace. Thank you for joining with me today. For my weekly classes, meditation and modalities on-demand library, self-study courses, and private sessions, visit my website at peacefulwellness.org.